Oh. God! Is it really this hard to figure out? So anyway, all right. So, like I said, so what do we have so far? So Lockers opens up. Some people say, hey, this looks fishy. Then we start seeing all these pictures come up and all these videos come up. But it's funny, because it's always a friend of a friend. Well, hey, my friend on this forum said his friend got a prize. Or look, there's this video of this guy I know who said he knows somebody who got a prize. But it's never the fucking people who are linking you to these goddamn pictures or these fucking videos who won the shit themselves, is it? No. It's always some other asshole, isn't it? How, how fucking convenient. How absolutely convenient that it's never the person pointing you in the right direction that actually redeemed this shit. But it's, you know, it's somebody else that did. But we can trust it, right? It's a picture on the internet. It has to be accurate. I've never seen anything on the internet that wasn't accurate. So this brings us back to these prizes, this redemption thing, right? Well, here's a funny little interesting fact. A lot of people who go to lockers run into the same fucking problem. They'll have a bunch of prizes listed, and every time they try to click on the prize they want, it's out of stock. And it'll say, wait for the restocking to come next month, or next week, or next year. Your prize will arrive in the next month. But sadly, it never does. And, you know, there was an incident uh, just this January where they had this big restock, right? And everybody was going to rush onto the site and get all the shit they'd been saving up points for. And guess what happened? Within one fucking minute, all the goddamn shit was gone. I find that really highly suspicious. That their restock would run out in one fucking minute. One minute. Now, you might say, wait a minute. I actually do know somebody who's gotten a prize from Lockers. Or, wait a minute, maybe I've gotten a prize from Lockers. You're wrong. Yeah, let me guess. It's a t-shirt. Because that's pretty much what everybody gets from Lockers. A shitty fucking dollar t-shirt. <laughs> right? That's your fucking prize. And, I'm, you know, and I, I am convinced that there probably are one or two people out there who actually did get a game or a whatever the fuck they ordered. Because, again, you want just enough believability in it to keep the dumb fuckers keep, you know, to keep them coming back. Like I said, you're going to put a few fake pictures out, you're going to put a few fake videos out, but you're going to need a little bit more than that. You're going to need actual real people to promote you and actually be believable when they say, I got what I ordered. So what's their game then? Uh, what's the purpose of all of this? Marketing data, you fucking morons. You go to the site, you sign up, you tell them everything about you, and then you're answering questions all the fucking time. And you think, okay, well, so what? So they're taking my marketing data. What does that matter? Well, here's the thing. First off, you're not getting the prizes you were promised, so basically you're doing it for free, which is pretty pathetic, but you're doing it for free for a company you don't really even know. And on top of that, they're going to sell that data to interested parties, and those interested parties, maybe the first one's not going to be that big a deal, maybe the second one's not going to be that big a deal, but the third or the fourth might. And as that spam builds up over the next couple of years, because you stupidly gave out your fucking information to these people, you know, where the fucking hell, man? And maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not marketing data. Maybe they're going after something else. Maybe they're, you know, doing a cross sample of demographics. Maybe they're compiling some other kind of list. But I guarantee you it's information. That is the commodity of this day and age. Welcome to the Internet age. Information is currency. You can repackage it and resell it to anybody. And the more information you can accumulate, the more wealth you basically have. So here's this company that lures all these people in. And who's going to come to a site that talks about, you know, win your prizes, win video games, win skateboarding decks? Seems pretty tailor-made to target a specific audience, doesn't it? Right, we want that shopping audience between the ages of 13 and 35, probably white and male. You know, maybe we'll get some females in there for the iPods, but we know what we're targeting. We know the demographic that we want. And these sites that you see this advertised on, why do you think lockers would advertise on B? Ask yourself that, okay? If you were going to spam any fucking website on the internet, why in God's name would you do it on B if you were a fucking legitimate site? Do you, have you ever seen Target go to B and advertise? Have you ever seen fucking Burger King go to B and advertise? Could you imagine YouTube going there and doing it? No, they don't want any part of that. Because it'll fuck with their reputation, right? Their reputation means something to them. They don't want to tarnish by advertising on B. So then why would Lockers, if Lockers was a legitimate company, go to B to advertise? Why would they spam the shit out of boards like that and different sites like that? Because it's not legitimate. They've got nothing to lose. They want your information. You're going to give them your information. Then they're going to sell it to whoever the fuck they need to sell it to. So just be prepared, because that's coming. I, it may or, hey, fuck, maybe already happened. I don't know. 
But I'm just I'm so tired of hearing people. I, I've talked to a couple of people I know who tell me that it's legitimate because they know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy. Or their friend maybe kind of did, right? But it's never them. They never win the fucking prize. They never redeem the points. They never get their fucking package. But they're holding out hope that it's going to happen, and it never is going to happen. You have been scammed. You've been ripped off. It's a very simple concept. When you see something like on... <laughs> okay. So I'd like to impart this little piece of information to you, because it's very simple, right? I know that you're not, you know, the majority of people out there aren't technical wizards. You're not going to cover your tracks very well, and information about you is going to be easily attained. But that doesn't mean you have to fucking willingly give it to everybody. When you see something that's too good to be true, it is. It's that simple. When a company says, I'm going to give you something for free, that should send up a little red flag. If they want your fucking home address and your phone number and your email account and what age you are, what sex you are, what race you are, what's your last name, where'd you grow up, what's your education, all this information about who you are, you don't have to give it to them. You shouldn't give it to them. I mean, if somebody's going to fuck you over, make them work for it at the very least, but don't just give it to them. It's just being, you know, it's just, it's a very simple idea. There are going to be, ma you know... Lockers is probably a forerunner of a lot of the shit that's, you know, that's going to come. You're going to see a lot more ideas like this that are going to be out there. So you might, okay, so wait a minute, you might say, well, I heard that somebody from, you know, uh, some former executive from another company worked at Lockers, and they were a pretty reputable person. Well, yeah, but uh, here, and here's the thing. They're looking, again, to make money. They found a way to make money, and they've set up this site to lose, you know, to basically not lose money. So yeah, they might have one or two prizes they give out, but that's what they have in stock. One or two. Now, they're not under any obligation to carry more than that. And that's how they fuck you over. They're looking to fuck you over. So when another business person looks at this asshole who's just fucked all these people over with lockers, you know, they're going to be impressed. They're going to say, way to go, good job, you can come work for us. They're not going to, you know, that doesn't bother them. You're the person who got fucked over, nobody cares about you. If you want to get pissed off, go to the, uh, you know, the, uh, I don't know, I don't even know who you'd go to. Federal Trade Commission, maybe? Better Business Bureau, perhaps? It would have something to do with uh, misleading advertisement. Uh, f something along, I don't know, something along that line, so you'd have to ask somebody. But So just in summary, Lockers is a scam. It's that simple. It is a scam. Okay? There's no debate about this. It's a scam. You're going to get fucked. The people who went to that site and really believed in it are getting fucked right now. Now, I could be proved wrong, but I doubt that's going to fucking happen. I really doubt that's going to fucking happen. I just don't want to hear any more of this locker shit. But really, go look for yourself, right? I want you to go look for yourself, and you go look on other forums where people are talking about lockers. You go look on YouTube at the videos, but do background digging, right? When you see somebody on a forum post and say lockers is legitimate, look at their fucking profile. More often than not, what you're going to find is they have one or two fucking posts on that entire forum, and they're all about lockers. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? When you see videos on you know, content sites, what are you going to see? All the videos are related to lockers. Nobody does that. Nobody except for PR people. Don't be a sucker. All right? Remember. Right? <laughs> yeah, remember the mantra, all I want for Christmas is my PSP. Let that guide you, because companies will fuck you over if they can. Anyway, that was my little... Uh, my little piece on lockers. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it kind of came out of left field, but I'm just sick and tired of listening to people talk about this fucking place. Especially after everybody should know it's bullshit. So, take it easy, have a nice day, and talk to you later.